exciting times around here, really. Just the, the excitement in the community, the university, our players. I think everybody's excited, obviously, for playoff time and uh, excited, obviously, to have the, to host the game here. I think it's huge. Um, last week we had off, and uh, I think it, hopefully it's going to help us tremendously. I think it did help us as far as you know, uh, recouping, uh, getting fresh, some guys healing up, banged up, uh, getting guys uh, you know healed up and, and ready to go for the playoffs. Uh, it's going to be a huge test, obviously. Uh, Sam Houston State is a great football team. I think they're as good as anybody in the country. Uh, I think when you look at these things, a rematch games, playing somebody twice, you got to throw the first one out. Uh, this one's, you know, different things at stake. You go to playoffs, everybody start, you know, you're back to even, and it's win or go home. And, uh, you know, I think any in the first game, you know, any team could have won that game, might, you know, take uh, eight or nine plays out of the game. And, uh, you know, so we know that uh, Sam Houston has, has had a tremendous amount of success in the playoffs. Obviously, that's probably one of the advantages coming in. They've been in some big games and done that and, and been here. Uh, so, you know, I, you know, I mean, I'm expecting them to come out there and, and, and be a great football team and play to the best of their ability. And, and we're going to have to match their intensity, match their physicality. And uh, it's time now for us to hold You're in the playoffs, and there's no reason why we shouldn't play our best football on Saturday here at home. I expect it to be a great environment, and I'm sure it'll be a, a sold out crowd. And we're going to have a, a tremendous amount of college atmosphere here. It's going to be tremendous. And, uh, and instead, it's going to be a huge part of the game, the home field advantage, because uh, the last several games at home have been outstanding. And, and really been a, an asset to us and been a home field advantage. It's been tough, made Strawberry Stadium a tough place for people to come in here to play. And uh, we're very thankful to that for our fans and our student body. And uh, we're looking for more of the same coming Saturday. Um, so it, it, it's going to be exciting. It's going to be an exciting game. And obviously, you know, NCAA playoffs is a, is a great uh, atmosphere. And uh, yeah, I think you're going to come in and see two great teams fighting it out. And uh, you know, it's going to be a great, uh, great football game to watch. I think we've been in some big atmospheres. Uh, you know, TCU. Uh, I think the atmosphere going on the road to McNeese was a tremendous atmosphere. I think uh, going on the road to, uh, you know, in the past, uh, you know, being in our place before the Sam Houston game was obviously electrifying atmosphere. Um, so we've played with things at stake, uh, but you know, you really try to get across to your team that every, you know. Uh, every every game you play, there's something at stake, you know. Well, you realize it or not, it, 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 it's it's there. So, um, you know, no, I would say obviously going to that situation, you got that that's probably one in their plus column, and it's, it's something they they got up on us. It can be either either way. Uh, uh, you know, I think if you uh, if you don't correct the mistakes you made the first time, it's going to be a big negative. If you make the corrections. It could be a huge positive, you know. It's, it's the same thing, and there's going to be a different game plan, and I'm sure you know they're going to have a wrinkle here or there. And to me, it's all about in these games, uh, big games, uh, rivalry games, close games, top level, national. You know, when you're playing for you know nationally ranked opponents, it's about your ability to make adjustments early. Somebody's going to have something in the game plan that you you just you weren't ready for, and it's it's your ability of you and your coaching staff and your players to to get the answer, get it communicated, and get it executed as soon as possible. For us, I think it has to do a lot how we handle our business all the time. Uh, when we beat Sam Houston before, it wasn't about Sam Houston. It was about how well we could play. Um, they weren't really the, you know, that wasn't the opponent. It was, uh, and it's not this time either. Uh, uh, we, we felt really that, you know, for us going out in that game, we made mistakes. Didn't think we played really well uh, in the last time we played. Uh, and we're looking forward to opportunity to see how, how much better can we play than we did the first time. Can we correct those mistakes? Can we play better? Uh, I know they're going to play. They're going to play better, and we, we've got to be able to do the same. You got to mix it up some. I mean, that was kind of in the thing. Yeah, we were going to, you know, make Bell go. You know, make him hurt us, and, and he did. And he basically, he almost single-handedly, you know, put him in position to win the ball game. Uh, he's a great player, uh, but some of those plays weren't because we gave it to him. Was, I mean, he did it. Uh, the scrambles. Uh, sometimes it was making a guy miss on the option. We had a guy. We just didn't have two. You know. <laughs> And, uh, you know, we're going to have to mix that up. And we can't let him, he can't do what, what we let him do last time. First half was huge. He, he had probably two runs, I think, over, over 30 yards. Uh, converted some huge third downs. Uh, you know, we're going to have to do a much better job on him. And especially, I think it's really the, the third downs and getting him in the third, medium, third long, him pulling the ball down and scrambling for the first. That's what we can't have. I mean, we know on an option, him running the ball, he's going to make some plays. I mean, you're not going to. 
I don't know, you know, uh, it's tough to say you're going to stop him. Um, but they've got so many weapons that you, know, you kind of got to pick and choose, and you got to, we've got different things in by defensive calls of, you know, who we're really trying to dictate who gets the football. And, uh, you know, we're just going to have to do a great job of tackling in space. But I think, Abel, we got to really make sure we can't, we can't let the, the plays like that, the scrambles, uh, we, we got to do a much better job on that part.